Chapman, and throughout my career as a novelist, I've been very closely linked to my hometown of Baltimore, which I've written about in great and loving detail. The new novel is set in the suburbs of Washington, D.C., and it doesn't have those kind of details, not because I don't know the suburbs of D.C., I know them pretty well, but because the central character is someone who her entire adult life has been experiencing a sense of dislocation. Her home, in essence, was stolen from her when she was 15, and she can never go back there, and she's never found a new one. What does it mean to know someone? And when you know someone, when you absolutely understand what lies in another person's heart, does that obligate you to that person just because you understand them when no one else does? Almost all of my novels have been inspired by real life crimes that happened in Baltimore. Not well known ones, usually things that I remember from growing up here. And that's certainly the case with I'd Know You Anywhere. But for the first time, I'm not going into detail about the crime that inspired me because it did involve the sexual assault of someone who is underage. Suffice it to say, there was a serial killer, someone who raped and then killed his victims, except in one case where the victim was allowed to live and actually witnessed the murder of another victim. And one day I thought, oh my God, what is it like to be that person?